What are you doing down there, Daddy? Come downstairs. I want to see my number one birthday boy. Hey guys, so I am so excited to review this movie. I was so amped for this film when I saw the trailer. I was like, that looks amazing. And I don't even care about clowns. Like, they don't scare me. They don't really get to me. Um, the last clown movie I remembered that I kind of liked, well, that I liked, I, I mean, I'm gonna say that I liked it, was Houses October Built. I thought that one was really well done. The clowns were genuinely scary. Um, they don't, like, scare me in the sense of other people having the clown phobia and stuff like that, which, fun fact, it is derived from not being able to recognize a human face. So I think it's an interesting fear after I learned that. Before that, I was like, why would you be afraid of clowns? I don't know. I don't want to devalue anyone's legitimate phobia because it is a legitimate phobia, but after learning about why and what causes it, it was an interesting thing. So this movie was directed by John Watts and it was produced by Eli Roth, which is why I was so excited about it. Eli Roth for me has a lot of hits and misses with his films. I like a handful of them and I don't like a handful of them. It just kind of, you know. So Clown had an interesting evolution of its process of being made. Um, it was actually filmed in 2012. It wasn't released until 2014. And then we didn't get it in America until 2016. So it had been like four years since making it that we finally got it here in the States. And also I bought this on DVD without even watching the movie, which I rarely do that. And that's funny, the last time I did that was another Eli Roth movie, which was Hostel. And I don't like the Hostel films. Um, I am going to do a whole Hostel series on my channel where I review every single one of them. There's not that many, but when I review them, um, which as we know, those are done by Eli Roth. Interesting that I do that with Eli Roth films, I guess. So the premise of this film is so interesting. Like it honestly sounds like a joke, which is why I kind of was excited to see it because I didn't have high hopes for it. For some reason, I was really excited about it, but I didn't have, like, I didn't go into it thinking, I this is gonna be an amazing movie, even though the trailer made it out to be an amazing movie. So it's about this man who, their son's birthday party is, like, clown-themed, and the clown cancels last minute, and so the dad finds this clown costume in this house, I guess, that he's selling, and he puts it on. He is the clown for his son's birthday party, and then afterwards, he cannot take it off. So he becomes, he turns into a clown. That sounds ridiculous, right? It sounds completely stupid and like over the top, but for some reason, it was so good, I don't know. But no, I loved this movie. I was so impressed with this film because, you know, Eli Roth, he's a dark character, right? All of his um, films have, they're very morbid, they're gory, he's not afraid to put in extra gore or to be extra disturbing. He's just not like that, which I can appreciate as a horror fan. So let me tell you right off the bat, he is not afraid to kill some children and to show it. I was so relieved and the fact that this is R-rated. Lately, I've just been watching movies that are PG-13 and I'm like, you could have taken it a step further. Like the Bye Bye Man, rated R, it could have been so much better. So anyway, there's this guy that tells him that it's basically demon skin and it's like a demonic, it turns into a demonic movie, which was not expected at all. And he has to feed on children. So just like saying the plot and the storyline, to me, if someone just said that to me, I'd be like, that sounds stupid. But for some reason, it was so well executed. And also when I heard the premise and saw the trailer, I was like, it's a bad, like bad idea, like, you know, stupid idea, whatever. And it's probably not going to be executed well either. But I was wrong. Boy, I shut up real fast because it was so good. The jump scares weren't bad. Like there was a couple here and there, but they weren't like in your face too much or anything like that. I felt genuinely afraid towards the end of the film, which that does not happen to me for with clown movies. I typically don't like clown movies at all because they try really hard to be scary, but then they're not well executed. And so for people who are generally not afraid of clowns, we're not afraid of the clown in the film. Like Pennywise did nothing for me personally, I'm sorry. So if you're afraid of clowns, I'm gonna tell you right now, this one is going to terrify you. There are so many scenes where I felt afraid of clowns for a second and I was like, mm, that's not like me. So now we're gonna get into spoilers and talk a little bit about the end because I actually really, really enjoyed the ending. Usually with a movie like this that I amp up so much and I'm so excited and then halfway through it's so good, I usually end up not liking the ending or something about it. But let's get into the spoilers. So as I mentioned, this becomes a demonic movie, like a possession movie. And it felt like The Conjuring for a second um, and it was, it just got a little weird and I got really scared like 
that it was gonna turn into something else entirely and I was not going to be a fan. The wife finds this videotape of someone performing basically an exorcism on the previous person who was wearing this demon skin clown suit. So she finds this, um, there's a book that has really cool imagery in it. Like I told my friends, I was like, I would hang that in my house. And they're like, you're weird. Towards the end, the dad is constantly changing. Um, I really like the gradual process of him becoming this demon clown. And by the end, he looked terrifying. Like the makeup job and the, the concept art and everything like that was on point. So eventually he evolves enough to where he doesn't really recognize his family anymore and he wants to eat his son because he's of that age. He's a child obviously and so the wife is like not having it. She's like you're not gonna eat my child. Also she's pregnant which I called that in the beginning when they said that they were pregnant and I'm like he eats children. Yeah he's gonna try to get that baby out of her stomach which he did but failed. So then she basically there's this moment where she's debating killing her husband like she has the opportunity perfectly right there to kill her husband and he you know like demons do they're like no wait but I love you I'm not a demon you know like they play that emotional card so you're like I'm not gonna kill you which I thought that was a little cliche but I mean it plays into the stereotype of a demon character you know so what I thought was funny about this ending was when she was debating killing him and it looked like she was gonna stop or she did stop and then she looks to her son and she's like go get that book because we're gonna try to exercise him and I was like oh no this movie it's already like how are they gonna do this in like five minutes like it's not gonna happen and I got scared I was like no don't do an exorcism like we don't need another exorcism movie like just let it be and then what I thought was so funny is the son looks at her and he's like that's not dad anymore. And she's like, you're right. And chops his head off. I loved that. I thought that was hilarious because it's like, she wanted to save her husband. She was like gonna try to perform an exorcism, which she's, she can't do that. Like it, it never goes well. So it was really sad. Um, then all the evidence was collected. And then the last scene is the evidence bags of like the suit and everything. So maybe there'll be a clown too. I don't know. But the fact it was filmed four years ago, mm, maybe it won't happen I don't know those are my thoughts on clown absolutely loved it I think this is definitely going to be ext an extreme movie like people are gonna have an extreme opinion one way or the other like I saw some people they didn't like it everyone I watched it with loved it because of the concept is so bizarre and it's so strange and you think going into it it's not gonna be well done I thought it was let me know down below what you think about clown if you've seen it and also leave some more movie requests down below should I bring back Stephen King Saturdays Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.